Hello, it is Thursday, December 10th. It's about 10.30 p.m. And um, I'm just getting um, ready to put all your kits out. Um, I know some people are picking up tomorrow. Um, most people will pick up on Saturday, um, anytime after 10. The best way to um, make sure that I see your message that you're on your way is to text me. Um, I don't get a notification on my email. I have to, I have to check in. I also don't get notifications on Facebook messages. So, um, cell is best to reach me quickly. My cell phone number is 613-213-0693. And I just ask that you give me a heads up to what time you're coming so that I can put your package outside and um, then we can do a no contact pickup. So this class is very different than any class I've ever done before. There's no stamping involved. However, there was a lot of cutting. I don't think I've ever spent so much time prepping for a class um, I hope it's, you find that it's worth it. And, um, I really like the way the cards turned out and I really like this paper package. Uh, like I said, it's called, um, trimming the town and it will retire in December. And, uh, some of you have ordered the paper pack and I hope that helps you, uh, make some more of these cards or make some of your own design and um, they're going to make some great winter pages. I plan on doing a scrapbook page with this, with this uh, paper pack just because I think it lends itself very nicely to, um, you know, a winter page or how your house is decorated for the holidays and that kind of thing. So I'm going to put together um, one set of the cards here for you and I hope uh, that you'll find them fairly easy to put together. So, um, I'll just show you the cards quickly. There's this one. I did stamp on the inside. Like I said, I would leave a spot for you to use your own um, sentiments. And uh, you can pick whatever you want for the inside. But the outside has the sentiment in this these little uh, word slips that um, I cut them all out um, by hand and um it was a big job but you guys are worth it so that's the first one this is the second one this um this card uses the tree angle uh stitch dies i believe they're called um so i've just cut the paper in a few different shapes of the, the triangles to represent trees and um, the inside of this one is blank. Uh, this one is a fun fold and it just opens like this. And again, you put your own sentiment on the inside. Um, everybody's got, you might have some different ones. You might have two different ones maybe for your card. And, um, but I'm sure everything fits well. This is a prototype of uh, the fourth card. Um, we're going to make that one together here so that you can see it done properly. So I'm going to start with this, with this card. Um, it's also a fun fold. So I'm going to use my bone folder and we're going to make it like a Z. Sorry if my Christmas music is too loud. Let me just turn it down. I was watching Christmas movies, but I turned it off. I didn't think uh, you guys would want to be uh, listening to my Hallmark movie midway through. Okay, so this piece goes on the inside. I'm going to use liquid glue. Okay, 
And then this piece is going to be for your sentiment and uh, to write a little note. I'm just gonna put that like this. Leave a little border around the edge. I'm gonna fold it over. And this piece is going to go on the front. This is my favorite sheet of paper in the pack. And I love the polka dots on the background. On the back side, sorry. So I prepped 14 kits for this class. So thank you very much to everybody who um, signed up. Much appreciated. I had to buy, I think, um, five packs of paper to get everything ready for you guys. Um, I did pop up this, um, this die cut is from the Hippos dies. Um, probably my favorite set of dies Stampin' Up! has. I'm just going to put a few on the back there. that and um, I'm also going to pop up this house and you're going to kind of put the smaller one in behind some of you will have a partial house which is perfectly fine because you're tucking it in behind and I seem to have lost my tree let's see if I can find one lying around here if not I'm gonna have to get up I'm going to put this down first. And just tuck the other things under. So this is kind of going to go in the center here. Oh, I found my tree. There it is, it was stuck to my glue. Yes, I cut out all of these houses by hand. And the trees. Okay, so I'm just going to tuck that in behind. I'm in my tree. I'm also just going to Tuck that under a bit. And my sentiment is the same one that's on my sample card here. I hope you're able to see what I was doing there. I just realized I might have been out of the frame. If so, I apologize. I am learning. This is a new um, a new stand for my phone, and I'm just trying to figure out how it works best. So I do apologize if I'm out of the frame. I will try to keep checking, make sure I stay in the frame. I'm just gonna pop up this one edge, just because the. Um, the uh, the house has popped up that it's going to kind of layer on. So there we go. That was pretty quick. <laughs> My hands are sticky. Okay, let's do this one next. Now, with this card, you're going to find, um, of course, you have two of every size of these trees. What I want you to do before you get started is to make sure um, you have five different ones for each card. You should have five different ones for each card. We, uh, we planned it that way. Um, 
but just uh, double check. Now, there are some of these can be flipped over and you need to check if, um, if you need to check if you need to flip yours over. For instance, um, this one cannot be this side because the uh, direction of the trees is wrong. So I know it's gonna be this way. This one would be fine either way. I'm gonna choose this way. And this one kind of has nothing on the back. It's kind of, uh, it's part of a mountain scene. So um, this one's definitely gonna go like this. And you're just going to decide how you wanna place them. Um, I think I'm going to do that. But first I have to do this uh, background. This is the snowflake um, embossing folder. I hope you can see that. Now, going to want to place your tallest tree first. And you're not going to put it all the way down to the bottom because you're going to cover it with this uh, little hill of snow. And this, um, this was die cut using the, um, um, the bundle that goes with this paper. I think it's called Coming Home sweet uh, so um, it's just a nice little uh, die there's one that's just um, like a nice hill like this and there's another one that also has little trees sticking up from it but I like this one best for this one so I'm going to stick down this big tree first and the ones in the back the three biggest triangles are going to be stuck with liquid glue the other two are going to be popped up. Okay. I haven't completely decided yet if I'm doing a January class. Um, I do think I need a little bit of time off. And um, I also have a pretty big order um, for February that I have to do. Uh, I can't tell you exactly what that's for yet. Um, but I am, sorry, I was supposed to pop that up. Um, but I am excited about it. Uh, it is going to take me a lot of time to get things prepped for it. Um, so I'll have to see about January. I know there will be new product and everybody will be excited. Um, but it's really hard um, to plan classes without stamps. Um, and uh, I'm not really sure if you guys want to spend the money on the stamp that goes with the cards in order for me to build the cards around a certain stamp set like I did last month. Um, some of you did buy the stamp set, but uh, about half of you didn't. And um, uh, it makes me nervous that you won't be happy with your, your cards um, if you didn't. Now the snow, I'm going to stick my sentiment down first. Again, you might have a couple different ones, but they're all good sentiments. I don't think there's any bad ones. Um, this stamp set, all, this um, piece of paper, the um, words also came in French and German. So I have those kept in a little pile. If anybody uh, really wants to use some French or German, please let me know and I will give you some of those for free just because I'm not going to use them. Um, 
Actually, I'm not sure if it's German or Dutch now. If you speak either one of those languages, maybe you can uh, help me figure that out. So that's stuck down there. And um, you saw me cut a little bit off. That's because um, these were altered, a row of red, a row of blue, a row of green. And I tried to get them all as um, closely cut as I could, but there was a little bit of blue uh, showing on that one. So I did trim it a tiny bit. Hopefully you won't have to do that much. Now I'm going to try and set these dimensionals where they're not going to interfere with my other dimensionals. So I think this will work if that goes in between those trees. No, I think I need to move it over a little. What I'm going to do is I'm going to stick it right there and then I'll know that it'll work. Okay, I'm just going to line it up along the bottom there, like that. Like I said, the inside is, is blank, but uh, do feel free to put whatever you want in there. The reason I needed so many packs of the DSP was because of these sentiments, um, because this sheet of paper has so many um, of the other languages, I had to keep buying more to, uh, to get enough of the English sentiments for 14 kits. Okay, so that one is done. Um, again, pretty quick and simple. Um, let's do this blue one next. It's another fun fold. So this is that uh, background paper. I'm going to put this on the front here. like this and with this fun fold this piece is going to go over top and you're just going to see the sides um, you can move it over if you want so you can see part of the scene on the sides and, and not everybody has the same one because um, it's a scenic piece of paper but I'm gonna leave mine pretty much in the middle just uh, Just for fun there. But again, you don't have to have it just in the center at all. Try and make sure that top piece is lined up well. And you might need to really get your score you might find you have a little bit sticking out there that's not enough that it's going to bother me but if it bothers you do cut it off and i'm going to add this piece here you could also use this side if you want um, there is another pattern um, i believe it has two choices as well so that's completely up to you I like these little houses. Here we go. On the inside, a little piece for your sentiment. Okay. Again, these are the hippo dies. Um, they do layer nicely. So 
that's gonna go there. I am gonna pop it up. Um, but first, I'm going to add this big house. I am on my last little tiny piece of dimensionals, using up every little scrap here today. Okay, so I'm gonna put the house off to the side. I'm gonna tuck the tree in behind. Just a tiny bit. And my sentiment here is happy holidays. On my sample, I have season's greetings. Both of them work quite nice. And again, I'm going to pop up half of this so that it's even with the house. I'm just gonna use one little tiny piece of dimensional here. And using my last bit of dimensionals. Just going to pop this up on the front of the card. Like that. And that's another one done. <clears throat> Now, <clears throat> this last card, what I need you to do before you start keep putting your cards together is sort these pieces out. They are, each one's a quarter of an inch um, smaller than the next. So you're going to sort them by size. You will have two exact of every piece. Um, which side am I doing here? This one, this one. So as you can see, we're building a tree. Okay, once you have them sorted out and um, you like the way the, uh, the colors go together, then you can start putting your card together. I have my daughter home now and uh, she's moved in with us. Uh, she's gonna stay here for about a year to uh, save up some rent money. And uh, she helped me sort all of these pieces, which was wonderful to have an assistant. So I'm just gonna put this embossing sheet down just to give it a little texture. And we're gonna face the card this way. So what I'm going to do first, can't find my tree trunk. Definitely need that. Let's see if it's lying over here somewhere. I appear to have lost it. Let me just get up and grab one quickly. Apologize for that. Okay, I put the tree trunk down first. And I did pr 
pretty, put it pretty close to the bottom here. Now, starting with the biggest one, I'm going to put these on. I'm not going to worry about them being perfectly straight. And I'm going to kind of overlap a little. Like that. Okay, and my star for the top. Now I've also given you two small sentiments to go on each tree. And what I did was I just put them randomly like that. side blank again here we go all right so that's our four cards for this month um, I do hope you like them and um, again, like I said, if you are interested in um, some of the other languages, please let me know. Um, and I can put them in your kit. Um, or you can get them at a later date. But these are the four cards that we just made. And um, this class was meant to be picked up on Saturday. But I do have a day off tomorrow because I am having a minor procedure done at the hospital. Um, at around 10.30, and, but I will be home all day, as will my husband, and I can set out your kits if you want to pick them up tomorrow. And if you saw on my Facebook page um, last night, or tonight, I guess, you'll see this on Friday, um, I posted that my catalogs arrived today. So when you pick up your kit, you will also get your catalog. And um, I think that's all the announcements I have. And uh, I hope that you like this kit. Um, when I saw this paper, I knew I could do a kit like this without any stamping. And that would um, really help you guys not have to purchase a stamp set uh, just for the class. So I'm going to do some planning over the holidays and figure out uh, how best to maneuver this uh, new reality we're working in with the uh, no in-person classes. It really makes things difficult. Um, honestly, the easiest thing for me would be to build a class around a stamp set, um, ideally, that everyone would, would purchase or uh, share with a friend kind of thing. 
so that uh, I didn't have to worry about how your cards were going to come together. And um, But in any case, uh, I will be doing some planning and I will keep you in the loop as to what's going on. But I'm not going anywhere and uh, I will definitely be having a class in February. And like I said, there'll be the new catalog and it will be celebration time. You can still place orders during January. I'm just probably not having a class that month. And uh, remember for every $60 you order in January, you get to choose something free from the celebration catalog. And there are some really awesome things available. So I'm going to sign off tonight and I hope um, you like these cards and uh, I hope you like your kit and most of all I hope you have a Merry Christmas and I thank you for um, supporting my business this year and uh, it's very much appreciated during this uh, COVID time when when things were difficult so I do appreciate it anyway I am about ready for bed now since it's 11 o'clock so I will close this video and uh, you should be able to see this around noon tomorrow. Okay, thanks, bye.